the human brain consumes about 100 watts. Okay, and it does pretty well for 100 watts. That's like 100 megawatts for a data center. And so that's like a, a factor of a million different uh, in terms of, of power use. So there's got to be there's got to be a lot of improvement possible. I think the the human brain is a great example of parallelism and multi connect. So I think we can certainly learn from you know how do you know how does a fruit fly <laughs> with you know what 100 neurons or you know, 150 neurons or something. How does it have all of that complex behavior? Do you think neuromorphic computing or even quantum computing becomes a major factor over the next decade? They're very different things. Like neuromorphic computing, I think, is how you do uh, uh, thought processes. And I think quantum is, is a way that you could do them quickly. But quantum, I think, is a real challenge. I, I'm a pessimist on quantum. I think the problem with quantum is uh, error rate. And they say, oh, well, we'll fix that by having you know far more qubits. The problem, though, is that the outliers are still a problem, even if you have a lot more qubits and you still have these error rate problems. And, you know, they'll improve it and it'll be good for some kinds of problems. I think it'll be a really long time before you'll be using quantum computing for any kind of AI like we know it today. Now, it's possible they could come up with some different models, but uh, I, I think it's just going to take a lot longer than people think. So next 10 years, no, I don't believe it. Um, you know, next 20, well, that's such a long time. Sure, maybe. 